Man, I don't want to run the raid for him again. It's so annoying to start. Why is there a door in the middle of nowhere? Hello! Have you heard about our new product called the Stacking Pet Omen Bank? We have it on sale for only 39.99 Balboas. Yes, it is a real currency. Google it. Uh, who were you just talking to? I didn't talk to anyone. Do you want to buy our product? Uh, no. I don't want your stupid bad omen bank. It sounds useless. This is the first version of Ayalu. It's manual and isn't too fast and has to be built at a pillager outpost. The way it works is that pillager spawns down here on the platform and walks up to a bubble column because they're trying to kill a villager behind it. Up here they get manually sorted by the player using a piston. This is the second version of bad omen bank by Alu. I've showcased this one before on my channel. The idea behind this one is that you farm banners from outpost and then give them to pillagers that enter a raid area, because raiders that lost a captain are supposed to pick up their flags. The problem is that I cannot replicate this anymore in 17.1 and I, even before that this was hard to replicate for some people. So this is a bad omen bank version 3 by me and Brad. First of all I want to give a huge thanks to Brad for explaining to me how raid mechanics works and helping with the storage for captains that uses mechanics shown by Hexatron and Kaizen. This uses the mechanic that Brad used in his lazy looting raid farm, where captains spawn it first in a wave since the minecarts will pick up the oldest entity first. The captains get filtered out and stored in the storage. Now, the race depends on what difficulty you're playing on. The amount of waves depends on the difficulty where easy has only 3 waves, normal 5 and hard difficulty has 7 waves. I recommend running this farm on hard difficulty and I'm sure most people do already. So I will be using this difficulty when referring to the speed of this farm. The amount of captains you get after the initial start is 1 captain per 20 game tick or 1 captain per second. That's because each wave spawns every 20 game tick. To spawn a raid, a player with bad omen effect needs to enter 3x3x3 three 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 subchang area around a point of interest like a claimed workstation, bat or bell. When that happens, the game will check for any point of interest in a sphere of 64 blocks around the player and if it does, a raid center is created in the center of those points of interest. This means that you cannot have any workstations or bats claimed by a villager nearby in order for the bat omen bank to function properly. In this farm, the raid starts when we are moving a player near the villager by retracting a piston with a player on it. And since the player is sitting inside a minecart, his hitbox is slightly shifted down, so he enters the subchunk below when the piston is retracted. If the raids are not spawning for you, it is most likely that you have misaligned the contraption. Try to verify that your center at the bottom is at 8 to 8 in subchunk, and make sure that there are no blocks above the spawn pad, and that you have set a game rules disable raids to false. In order to have a continuous flow of captains, we need to spawn a new raid every 140 game ticks. To do this, we need to move the raid to point of interest well out of the raid radius of 96 blocks, which is a radius that attacks any other raiders in it. That is what this contraption here does. After the raid spawns, the first villager's workstation is moved causing the raid to search for a new point of interest to move to. It searches in a 5x5x5 subchunk area for a position with a workstation in a 3x3x3 subchunk area around it. The workstations are moved one by one until the raid reaches the bottom villager where the raid is far enough away from the top workstations so new raids may be created. If you are not getting any continuous flow of captains after first raid, it's more likely that you have working timings in the activation below player. Check the hopper clock if there are 24 items inside and verify that your repeaters are on the right delay. The spawn pad uses a few key mechanics. First, dealing with ravagers. When they spawn, they spawn one block above the block that they chose to spawn on, and because ravagers are too big to fit such a small space, they get stuck into blocks around, in this case they get caught by the water and get pushed into a portal. 
but some ravagers are gonna have riders on them and in order to teleport ravagers we need to dismount them and that's why we have this water here along with pistons to get rid of riders that are mounting the ravagers. After a wave spawns, the pillagers get compacted together and the minecart dispenses after the floor below them gets moved away so pillagers get teleported to the nether side and die there. The reason we are getting rid of raiders so quickly is to avoid access spawning and that's why this blue sheep is here. There is a mechanic that makes evokers try recall a blue sheep red and its priority is higher than summoning vexes. And when they try that it takes them 40 game tick to recolor the sheep. This gives much more time because evokers spawn vexes in 20 game tick. If vexes are spawning for you, make sure the sheep is blue, timings in the spawn pad are correct and all the water is in place. If you're not getting any captains outside of the spawn pad, make sure you filled up the chest behind the contraption with minecarts. Here we have the storage for captains that I and Brad made. This is mechanics that were shown by Hexatron and Kahizen in their own storage. In here we store 45 captains and those are also used to deliver bad omen for new risk to the player. This works by abusing the same mechanic as stack separation does, where only the oldest entity gets through the trapdoor. If captains are stuck and they are not going through the trapdoor, make sure you have the trapdoor facing the right way as it is in the lithematic. Thank you for watching. The link for the schematic is in the description. This is one of the few videos where I'm going over my old projects that I worked on and I'm trying to either improve them or fix them. So subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Bye. Oh, I'm not in survival. That's why they're not targeting me, but at least they're looking. Some of them are. Yeah, these ones are. Weird. It's fine, I can use that bit. Okay, that should the be... The arrow, I think, just bounced off me, because... <laughs> That's fine, <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> no need for I meant to leave myself in survival. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to be sus.